Hours after deadly attacks in Brussels Tuesday morning killed more than 30, officials in cities across the United States announced stepped-up security at airports, transportation sites, and other high-profile locations. Out of what they said was an abundance of caution. There is no specific and credible threat against New York City at this time but we are in a high state of vigilance and readiness. New York's police department deploying additional counterterrorism teams to crowded areas, including the subway system, as well as the three major airports in the area. Similar precautions being taken in and around the nation's capital and at airports from Atlanta to Chicago. The Department of Homeland Security tweeting, DHS will not hesitate to adjust our security posture to protect the American people. We do have to be concerned about something like this, particularly something like this attack, you know, uh, an attack on soft targets. Uh, striking soft targets, unfortunately, it, it's not difficult. Across the nation, commuters and passengers expressed some jitters. I feel confident that our, the government's keeping us safe, but you know, I am always worried a little bit about traveling on the metro or any other mass transit. But refused to let the attacks deter them from traveling. I'm glad to see that additional police out here, um, but I think it'll be a fine day. I think everything will be okay. Testifying on Capitol Hill, Defense Secretary Ash Carter warned the Brussels attacks will only strengthen the U.S. commitment to destroy the Islamic State group, which claimed responsibility for Tuesday's blasts. No attack will affect our resolve to accelerate the defeat of ISIL. New York City Police Commissioner Bill Bratton said at least his city should expect to see some level of ramped up security for the foreseeable future. Kelly Daschle, Associated Press.